All right, thanks everyone for being here. We've got head coach Mark Campbell. We'll start with an opening statement and then turn it over for questions. Well, I'm just really proud of this group. Um, Rice is a good program. They got a good team this year. Um, and that's a group that's used to winning. They had a heck of a season last year, and so that was a battle. And I'm just proud of how our team responded. They were took, took a quarter for us to kind of get our legs under us and match our physicality, but we settled into a good rhythm. and. Um, and on the defensive end, um, that's, I think, our best performance defensively for 40 minutes. Uh, made it hard for those guys to score, did a great job boxing out, and then got it out and pushed it in transition. And um, didn't shoot from the field as well as I'd like, credit Rice, but we, they, what they did give us is a lot of clean looks from three. And uh, we were able to hit, hit a lot of those. So proud of this team, really proud to be 3 0. Um, open it up to any questions. Coach, your weekend, just where do you think your squad's at, you know, week into your tenure? Oh, three games in seven days um, with a lot of new pieces. Couldn't be more proud of these guys. Um, tonight was a, a game that they were excited for to go out there and, and really test and see where we're at uh, a week into the season. And um, Sedona had another double-double. Um, Jaden, she finally had one turnover. I think she's got like 20 assists, one turnover. Um, but she's just been so steady for us. And Madison had another double-double. Um, Agnes is just, just a warrior and a winner and impacts the game in so many ways. So after three games and, and three games in seven days, I uh, couldn't be more proud of where we're at right now, but we got a long ways to go. You mentioned Agnes. Uh, five offensive boards tonight. Looked like she was fighting for loose balls, getting to, the, to getting to the ground for loose balls all night. What does she bring to you guys when she's working that hard on the on the court? Man, you guys get to see it during the game, but this is every practice, uh, all our workouts. Um, Agnes has a work ethic that's second to none, and it's just the ultimate competitor. Um, and that toughness and that grit and that mentality, it, it wears off on her teammates. And so she sets the tone. Uh, every time Agnes steps on the court, she is bringing her lunch pail and hard hat. You know, how impressed are you with the squad? It didn't have their best shooting game today, but you still win by 15 or 25. You know, there, there's going to be games like that when the shots don't fall. Uh, and Rice is a physical, competitive, hard-nosed team, and so they did a good job uh, making things hard for us offensively. And so that's the sign of a really good team is when you don't shoot the ball well, but you can still dig in and guard and rebound and defend, and, and we did that. And so um, this game, obviously, it was a physical game. And we didn't play offensively as well as you like, but it didn't matter. And so, uh, to be good, you got to be able to win these kind type of games. It looked like Rice was fighting through the ball screens really, really well, especially on the perimeter tonight. When you have a team that's presenting that on defense, what's your what's your counter punch? Yeah, they they were fighting through all balls, but they were jamming things up, which is why we got um, 21 threes, and I would say really wide open, clean looks. And so. You kind of take what they give you, and so they were jamming things up and being physical, and, and so it was a tonight drive and kick, um, and we shot 50% from three. We can play that game. Uh, we can really, really shoot the ball, and so if you want to jam stuff up and get physical, we, we can play uh, drive and kick basketball. And on the other side, they shot just 25.4% from the floor. Really, really impressive defensive performance. Was that the expectation defensively coming into the year, and now you're starting to see it? Um, yeah. You know, with so many new parts, uh, you just don't know until you get into the fight. Uh, but after these three games in this seven-day period, we could be a really good defensive ball club. Um, we've done it with zone, and we've been able to do it with man. And so I think we've got great length. Sedona's kind of the X factor. She makes it really hard to score around the basket. She kind of neutralizes the other team's post player. Um, and so I think we have the ability to become good man-to-man -man and really good in the zone. You, know, you talked about Agnes a little bit, but there in the third quarter, she picks up her fourth foul and is able to continue the rest of the game without picking up that fifth. Yeah, you know, I mean, Agnes uh, graduated from Stanford in three years with a degree in neuroscience. So she, I trust Agnes at a high level to be a smart basketball player and make good decisions. That's not what I'm worried about. So she, she, um, she gets it. She's been in big ball games for her whole college career, and so she understands. And she's going to get some fouls when you play as hard as she does and crash as hard as she does and defend like she does. She's going to pick up some fouls, but she knows how to how to manage it. 
looks like you've been really working with a rotation of about seven through the first three games. I know you're waiting on a couple to get back from injury as well. How do you feel about the rotation at this point? Yeah, I'd say eight for sure. Deja, Aliyah, Tara have been just awesome off the bench for us. And Deja gave us great minutes in the first half when Sedona was in foul trouble. Aliyah is so versatile and can play a couple positions. And Tara's the same, high IQ, can play a couple positions for us. And we're, we're still waiting to get a couple kids back and get them healthy. Uh, but right now, that, th those eight have been nails for us.